Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Welcome back to West of Loathing. We're having all kinds of fun here. And, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, gonna be super, super interesting. We are inside this giant bone pile here. And, uh, and, uh, we needed to make some stuff. Um, I've got this hoodie on, but it didn't actually wind up helping me any. So I'm gonna take it back off. Um, and put back on my old cavalry hat. There we go. So, we've got our stuff. And the, we have the thing Milk Blood Icker that we need in order to make the thing, if I remember correctly. I just remember that milk had to go first, and I think it was blood before ichor. Because uh, if it's ichor before blood, then uh, then your then your concoction is a dud. So, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, vat of milk that's less threatening than the blood. Or hold on, a vat of giant blood. Great. Or a, a giant vat of blood. Great. A giant vat labeled ichor. Nasty. A giant vat filled with lemonade. Okay. So. Let's do... Milk. You open up the milk faucet and fill a beaker a third of the way up. A giant vat of blood. Great. Uh, milk. Blood. You open up the blood faucet and pour some of the blood into the already partially filled beaker. Icker, a giant vat labeled Icker, nasty. Collect some. The liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Watch the reaction. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. The intensity of the reaction fuses the Icker spigot into a useless mass of metal. Aw. How will it end? The boiling subsides, and what's left in the beaker is. Yes, yes, tell me! A beaker of buffalo reanimating fluid. When the smoke clears, you're left with a beaker full of liquid that's unmistakably buffalo reanimating fluid. It's unmistakable because somehow the reaction caused the beaker to become labeled, and the label says it's buffalo reanimating fluid. That's cool. So the ichor is now no good. It's covered in big beakers. Take one. Oversized chemical beaker. Okay. Now, I want to trust something here. Because it never mentioned lemonade. And there- and this game is full of memes. <coughs> and so there is a little poem about milk and lemonade. And I think we're gonna make something. The vat of milk that's less threatening than blood. Collect some. Fill the faucet- the speaker a third of the way up. Let's collect some more. You open the milk faucet and pour some more milk into the already partially filled beaker. A giant vat filled with lemonade. Collect some. The liquid of the beaker begins to bubble. Watch the reaction. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. The steam from the reaction causes the lemonade faucet to get clogged up. How will it end? The boiling subsides and what's left in the beaker is... <laughs> yes! When the reaction subsides... You're left with a beaker full of surprisingly delicious-looking fudge. The whole process really turned a corner on you. You got a beaker of fudge. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm a child. <laughs> All right, let's put the bones on the slab. Let's do it. Um. You pour the fluid into the funnel and watch as it travels down all of the spirally glass tubes and stuff into the skeleton on the slab. After a few moments, the newly assembled buffalo soldier stirs to life. Greet it. Welcome to the world. What's your name? Buffalo. Your name is just Buffalo? That's some might uncreative. You didn't let me finish. Let him finish. Sorry, go on. Buffalo, Buffalo. He pauses for several seconds. Okay, pleased to meet you, Buffalo Buffalo. What's it? You still didn't let me finish. All right, go on then. Buffalo Buffalo Buffalo. 
Okay, so your name is Three Buffaloes. Bill. Your name is Bill? My name is Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Pay attention. Continue. So you can remember anything from before? Or can you? I remember eating grass. Okay, that makes sense. Anything else? Shooting. Lots of shooting. And people cheering about the shooting. Seems like you have a combined memories of your buffalo and human parts. That sounds accurate. What will you do next? I guess I'll just wander around and try to find a purpose. I wonder what good luck with that is, but I want him to travel with us, because I like this idea. You could travel with us. And it says us, so I don't think we would lose Gary. Well, sure. That sounds okay. Since you already killed the folks responsible for this place, I guess I wouldn't mind following you. Bill quickly ducks through one hallway and comes back holding a rifle. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill will now assist you in combat. Yay! Welcome aboard, Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Cool beans. Awesome. Okay. That's very neat. Oh, I like that. All right. Leave them to their captivity. What is this? Leave this lab alone. There's a rope hanging on this rack. Search it. You got a buffalo pile locker key. Cool. Do it. Hmm. All right. Let's drink. What is this? Uh, let's just shoot Nanny. Well, dang it. Gary. Oh, the bone pile fell. Gary, you died instantly. My boy. <laughs> Are these demons? Is that why we're so strong against them? That would make sense. Haha! -ha. We need to find more shroom grow. We desperately need to. Um, gain 170 meat. Yay! And I have my meat ring on. Okay, let's do this. I want to go to Old Granddad, but I also want to go to Breadwood and this military cemetery and everything. So let's go to Breadwood. And I see you spot a guy riding down the road on a brown horse wearing a brown fur hat and carrying a brown shopping bag with a brown loaf of stolen bread sticking up out of the top. You can tell it's stolen because the bag is a little picture of a loaf of bread on it. <laughs> He rides up and brandishes a great big loaf of bread at you. Hand over all your bread or I'll bludgeon you to death. Jeez, you sure like bread, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a thing. Um... We can frighten him away. Let's do it. Well, listen, we don't have time to fight. Didn't you hear? There's a huge swarm of weevils headed this way. Ooh, ooh, weevils. A plague of weevils. If you don't run away now, it'll be, or it'll, it'll be on your own bread. He screams and rides away at a gallop. Phew! 20 XP. Okay, it's fine. Breadwood. What the what? You know the town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Hey, Gary. Oh, hey, another goblin telling Gary once about a place near. What kind of place? Very weird place, all seeing going through it. You covered the new ta map location, Ghostwood. What? What do you think we should do? Am I forgetting anything? Reminds you about Roy Bean. St uh, yeah, uh, another suggestion. Much obliged. Breadwood mayo. Table has no mayo on it. The Breadwood's meager selection of library books. The soup kitchen is bereft of soup. Breadwood's current absent supply of mil militia yeast. Breadwood's bank was apparently small enough to fail. <laughs> you read the list of Breadwood problems. Missing mail. The last batch of mail never made it here. 
Overdue book. One of the library's four books was checked out and never turned back in. Stalled logging permit. Whole swaths of forest are still standing and we can't chop them down. Shoop, soup shortage. The town's soup kitchen doesn't have any soup in it. Oh, so, uh, skeletons everywhere. Skeletons keep wandering in town and poking people in the eye. Missing yeast. The entire stock of yeast was stolen by the yeasty gang. And robbed bread bank. This town's bank was cleaned out by banker boys. There's a note at the bottom. Last time Mayor let this list get over three items, we chased him out of town with a breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Yikes. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Flurmped and Widget, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for lumber. Alright, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of town the down payment are you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but the deal would be a real problem. And I've already got several problems to worry about. Oh? The mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. Offer to help with the problems. Well, thank you. I'd certainly welcome your assistance if you can offer. Maybe I could help with some of your problems. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly welcome your assistance you could offer. Look at the problems on the board. Mm-hmm. The soup shortage. Yay! Keep a municipal soup kicking. Kitchen open to uh, help those who are down on their luck, which is pretty much everybody around here. But we run out of soup and need someone to go fetch some more from the soup stock load. Okay. Good. You could put a very dangerous soup in it, I bet. It's extremely dense bread. Okay. And ghost wood. Howdy, ghost wood. You know, right? The buttery biscuit. Well, it looks like some poor son of a biscuit's wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez. Rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cousin here in Breadwood. Sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread related products. So I've noticed. Uh, let's see. I'll buy a drink. The bartender pours a shot of something and slaps it on the bar in front of you. I don't get to choose? No. <laughs> you lose 15 meat. You got a breadwood bourbon. Maximum HP for 25% for the or 25 for the rest of the day. Made from the finest doughs, mashed, aged, and bread barrels, and served with a crouton floating in it in a dirty glass. Well, thanks. Leave. Try to keep a low profile, okay? We don't know how these people feel about goblins. Hello, all people! Uh, being Gary, having the lowest profile. That is the opposite of what I meant. Oh, no! <laughs> Never mind. Nobody seems to care anybody. Anyway. Hmm. Breadwood man's troubles to keeping us from lumber do fixing a problem is best idea. Don't be this guy. This guy is grimly washing dishes. He notices you looking and waves you away, irritated. See bartender for darts. Uh... You don't take kindly to strangers. Don't need your kind around here. Did you say need or need? He glares at you. Well, anyway. Ask about the darts. Ain't got no darts. Dang it. That's about the guy washing dishes. The muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he got to tab wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. I'll pay it. Even dumber than I assume, but whatever. You can tell him he's free for yourself. Alrighty. Leave. Uh, guy's grimly washing dishes. Tell him he's free. Hey, I paid off your tab. You're free. What'd you do a thing like that for? I was just feeling charitable, I guess. Well, thanks, but I don't know how to pretty much do nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all? Well, I can also wash clothes, and I can play the washboard, and that's pretty much it, though. Send him to Dirtwater. There's a plenty of job opportunities opening up in Dirtwater. Why don't you try your luck out there? All right, it's worth it in a shot. Thanks, pal. He leaves with a wave, and the bartender replaces the sign on the wall. He got 30 XP. Good luck. <laughs> Dishwasher wanted. <laughs> Probably dangerous to interrupt this. His two old friends reminiscing about the good times and occasionally showing one another their guns in a non-threatening way.
What are these guys up to? Ass oh, I see that up there. I see it. The man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat in front of him. The man with the white hat looks broke and sad. What you playing, fellows? Pharaoh, but I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. The man with the white hat grumbles. How does it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat and then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? If those are the rules, how'd this guy lose all his meat? He's real bad at it. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a try. Alright, partner. Start naming pharaohs. The Hooten Common. Well, everybody knows that one. What else you got? You don't actually know the names of any more pharaohs. Maybe you can get away with just making some up. Um. The Gemosis. He grumbles and hands you your winnings. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm off with a put. He grumbles and hands you your winnings. Semonakat. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
This is a bad of patented shroom grow. Gary will want this. Yes, I will want this. A blank postcard. Absolutely. Desert eating and drinking. The foraging skill. I don't have enough money. Oh, I will sell a bone chip ring. And I will sell a, a hammer. And I will sell... Uh, 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 I will not sell the fudge. Um... I will sell... I will not sell my befouled pistol. Um... Oh, my spit-soaked pants as well. Mm, all of these are precious to me. I will sell... I will... I will go to my briefcase. And I will pull out some venom. There we go. Close the briefcase. Now I will sell some stuff. Um. Because I have more of these daggone venom vials than I could ever stand. Because I don't need these venom vials. They mean nothing to me. But this, that means something. Oh, modern snake oiler too. Got that, got that, wet boots. Hot resistance. These boots are uncomfortable to wear, but you could probably walk across hot coals in them and not even feel it. That's all they are. Okay. I do not need those. Okay. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Just sell them. This is so little meat for something that you're supposed to just sell. Blast bull, brass bull rings. I think we can get rid of these. Black hat, I can't see much use for. And I can't see much use for spell damage. <clears throat> All right. It's time to get foraging. Finally. This book contains everything you need to know about the harsh, unforgiven desert into your own... Per uh, uh, and turn uh, turning the harsh, unforgivable desert into your own personal buffet. And the best part is the buffet also has an open bar. You see the foraging skill. You read the buck and learn all sorts of tricks for squeezing out extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. You got the skill, foraging. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeeze the book into book juice, which it turns out isn't a real thing. Ah! Bag of shroom grow. Give it to Gary. Oh, deliciousness, Gary, has become more powerful. Groovy. Bunkhouse. Well, on one hand, it's a modern convenience. On the other hand, it's just got zero privacy. Flush it for fun. Beds must have been for tenants who drew short straws. It's a drafty place to sleep. There's some water and a few miscellaneous toiletries provided. Wash up. Ah, much better. Guy seems very focused on beard growing. This guy is just chilled by the fire. It's not very much good fire. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. Oh, you're what? I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Flirmped and Widget. Uh, you seem like a traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I heard they got one at the Petten Cemetery, but the what? The Petten Cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? Nah, I've got no prospects of paying it back. 
but I got a camera, and I figured you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Nah, sure, I'll do that. Thanks, a bundle. You got an item, the owl camera. He marks the location of the cemetery on a map. You discovered a new map location of the petting cemetery. <laughs> owl K, I'll be back, owl. Aw, you didn't respond to it. Dang it. Pick the lock. Uh, Foot Locker's labeled H. Halloway. The locker contains a key to itself and a few miscellaneous sundries. You got the item Halloway's pin. What is that? I go. I assume it goes in the lapel. 20 plus maximum HP. The silver lapel pin in the shape of a mining pick with a jumble neck mine one year anniversary inscribed in the haft. All right. Dunwich Crouton, 1848 to 1862. 60 to 86. Graves past here are too old and still to still be legible. Oh, I need to use some of my XP to upgrade my foraging. And you bet your sweet life I will. Harvest. Tombstone pizza. Carefully slice up the pepperoni mold and place it on a pizza crust. Tombstone Pizza! Muscle by five, okay? I have so many places to go and so many places to see. Oh my goodness, we have so much harvesting to do. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of harvesting off screen, just so you know. Dang it. Never mind. We ain't gonna forge none of that. Help yourself. Um, let's, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with that stuff. I don't want to destroy it and then need it later. I'm out of needles, oh my. Oh yeah, we already dealt with this. And I still don't have safe cracking. Foraging, you got cactus bits. Flower is still smoking. Pick it. Smoking chrysanthemum. Plus two spell damage. Cactus bits. Uh, increasing mysticality by three for the rest of the day. Okay, we are not going to forage all over creation live. I will do that off site. Um. Hmm. I want to see all these places, to be honest. I want to see... Ghostwood. Oh my. Talk to your partner. Ghost house? It's a ghost town. Oh my goodness, it's a western ghost town. I love it. Okay. Weird, right? I've never heard of ghost anything except people. Gary was seeing a ghost cactus once. Yeah, there's one down at the end of the street too. How does a cactus die with unfinished business? Did not picking poking enough people? Okay, guess I'll buy that. Hmm. All the buildings in this town are weirdly hazy and translucent, like oh, ghost. It's a literal ghost town. All right, fair enough. You might expect to be able to just walk straight through the door of a ghost building. But some kind of force is preventing that. I guess you could knock on on the force? Knock. Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap sound on the barroom door. And a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Howdy, fella. New in town? Yeah, I'm wondering if... Sorry. I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. I ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Where do I get one? Try the town hall down the end of the street. Thanks. Oh, wait. Someone mounted the pencil sharpener. Sharpen a pencil? You haven't got any pencils to sharpen. Clear through the wall of the stable. I can't probably talk to any of these. 
Okay. Ghost Town Hall. Looks like a regular town hall, except, you know, the whole ghost thing. Nah. If this makes a distant echo wave plap, a visitor, you'll be needing a visitor identification card. I guess so. I'll be happy to fill the forms in. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You'll be needing a number three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you just use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions vary very clearly. The applicant must have a number three pencil. Uh, number three pencil? Isn't a number two pencil you the usual kind? I suppose. But a number three pencil is 50% more official. Well, okay. Where do I get one? Try the Department of Requisitions just next door. You mean the general store? It's a little more specific these days, but yes. All right, I'll be right back. Office supply. Excuse me, I need a... Sorry, I can't help you unless you have a visitor's ID. But you need a pencil for it. No visitor ID, no supplies. The general store won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have an ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could just issue a temporary visitor's permit. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What's your last name? My last name is Widget. What's your first name? My first name is Flurmpton. What's your middle name? It's Marshall. Great, where are you from, Flurmpton Marshall Widget? Uh, a little farm outside of Boring Springs. I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. Well, if you set your sights low enough, you'll never be disappointed. All right, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? What? It's a quiz to make sure you've actually been paying attention and care about our little town instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. I think there's six. Correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Here's your temporary visitor's pass. Yeah, there was three in each window. Ghostwood visitor's permit. Thanks. Expires in 11 seconds. One... Ah, let's see, okay. Last name is Widget. Oh, sorry, it looks like your visitor's permit has expired. Oh, my goodness. Yep, six bars. All right, just need to ask you a few more questions. Fine. What's your last name? Widget. What's your first name? Florimpton. What's your middle name? Marshall. Where are you from? I live in a farm outside of Boring Springs. Never heard of it. What's it like? Not much to look at, but it's a home. That's nice. All right. How many bars in the window? What? Six. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, last name is Widget. Ah! <laughs> Fine. Widget. Flurmpton. Marshall. I'm in dirt water. What? Six. Go. Uh, okay. Come on. Widget. This temporary pass is basically useless. Maybe there's somewhere else you can find a pencil around here. Good gracious. Nobody's home, excuse me, but never heard of you. Sheesh. Uh, let's see. Go away! Excuse me, but you aren't authorized to. Well, that's rude. Uh, rats. Where do I find a number three pencil? Gary was seeing a cactus once. What do I do? What do I do? Not sure you could lead a ghost horse to this even if you wanted to. Ah, oh, I wish I had a ghost horse now. Oh, wait. There's a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus with a ghost pencil stabbed in it. Take the pencil. It's a number four. Manage to snag the corner of your temporary visitor permit and yank it out of the cactus. Wait, this is a number four pencil. Alright. 
Let's go sharpen it. And I bet you when we sharpen it down, the number will go down. Sharpen the pencil. Stick the number four pencil in the sharpener and grind off about a quarter of it. You got a sharpened ghost pencil. Alright. That's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. I see. I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it will do. Let's get you started on the visitor identification permit. Goodness. Last name. Ugh, widget. First name. Blurmpton. Middle name. Marshall. Blurmpton Marshall Widget. That matches what it says here. Good. Where are you from? I am from Dirtwater. You ever decide to set your set heights higher? I can recommend a good drainage ditch. Okay, last question. How many bars on the windows of the adjunct record? Six. But it was six last time. I didn't ask you the same question last time. Uh... Department of Records. Is the Department of Records the office supply? Oh my goodness. Widget. Blurmpton. Marshall. Dirtwater. I'm guessing it's both windows then. Windows. Ten. Goodness. Correct. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor ID. Ghostwood visitor ID. Thank you. Say, was this all... Was this always called Ghostwood or... Yes. Total coincidence. Huh. Hello. Something I can get for you, Mr. Widget. I can't think of anything. Mr. Widget, was it? I can... What can I do for you? Nothing. Department of Records, how may I help you, Mr. Widget? Um, I can't think of anything. Knock. Howdy, what can I do for you? I need a drink immediately. No problem, beer or whiskey? <laughs> whiskey. Good choice. Only one small problem, though. I'm out of whiskey requisition forms. Mind going down to the administration and picking one up for me? Fine. Don't mention it. see the walls of the stable instead of ghost horses you see a lot of ghost filing cabinets stacked with boxes of old papers you don't see any ghost criminals but sure usually there isn't anything longer than a life sentence anyway uh, seems mostly selling office supplies ghost office supplies hello mr. widget I need a whiskey requisition form for the bar down the street Bar? You mean the Department of Lib Libations? Sure, I can give you a whiskey requisition form. Is what I'd like to say, but I'm out of form transfer envelopes. What? Can't transfer a form to a different department without a form transfer envelope. Make sure it doesn't get tampered with during this transport. You must be joking. No, sir, this is serious business. I'll tell you what, though. They should have su a supply of spare form transfer envelopes at the Department of Requisitions next door. So help me. Need a form transfer envelope. Which color? Naturally, different colors, different purposes. Tan for regular interdepartment transfers, blue for extra municipal transfers, and red for emergencies, and green for bribes. Red. Sounds reasonable. Here you go. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Widget. I'm back with my risk reservation the requisition form. Here's the transfer envelope. Ooh, a red one. You must really need that drink. Here you go. Whiskey requisition form. Thank you. All right. Widget. First name is Flurmpton. Middle name is Marshall. Just gonna get that whiskey out. We're fresh out of whiskey. I hereby vow to destroy this place. I will raise the buildings and salt the earth. Now, now, don't get all bent out of shape. If you go tell the Department of Requisitions, they'll set us up with a fresh case. Fine.
The bar, the Department of Libations is out of whiskey. We'll get a case sent over. I don't have time to fill anything out. Nope, it'll be handled on delivery. Great, in two days. Hey, don't look at me that way. There's a lot of processing in forms for a booze delivery. So I need to go sleep for two days. Oh my goodness. I need a drink. Beer. Alright, just gotta take your name down for a requisition slip. Blurman. Marshall. Ah. Uh, I don't have enough meat. Oh my goodness, ghost wood. Oh. Uh, ghost wood sucks. Oh man. What you do next? Yeah. All right. Let's go to the snake thingy. I'm just drowned in some soup. Ah. Uh. Let's horn swoggle the skelly. <clears throat> you know, judging from the apparent ages of your bones, I'd say it's pretty likely that the guy your skeleton is from is related to, or at least an associate of the person who killed the buffalo your skull is from. In fact, it's possible it could be the same person. How do you feel about that? The skeleton scares at you a few more seconds and then looks at her hand and then attempts to bite the hand off. You stroll away as she attempts to wrestle herself to the ground. There we go. I want to get that one that's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> I love that the stupid walking even follows us there. Hi, snacks. Pool of boiling soup. Grab it. Boiling soup. Boiling soup. I should have fought some of those snakes, to be honest. Boiling soup. Okay. In fact, I'm already here. Let's punch some snakes. I've got the lodestone ring on, I think. I do. I don't need the stench resistance I've got on. Ooh. Let's go. To victory. Grab some. Let's fight him. Alright. Shoot, Nanny. Okay. And you're gonna hi this guy. Oh my. Strong snake. Alright. 80 XP. Venom bladders. And some meat. Hooray. We're gonna grab some more because we want to get some more meat. Yay! <laughs> 44 meat. Alright, that's enough to go buy the other thing that we wanted. Can't upgrade my forge in all the way yet, but that's okay. Go 
Go to Breadwood. Tell him what you think of his stone rings. Uh, you encounter a man, for some reason, has set up three wooden posts sticking out of the ground. With the first one encircled by a pyramid stack of differently sized stone rings. The man is looking at the stones and scratching his head. When he sees you, he asks if you mind helping him move the stones to the third post. Tell him what you think. You give the man his stone rings and double middle fingers and stride away with deep satisfaction. Huh. Okay. A buttery biscuit. Got him right here. 90 XP, yeah. Offer to help with his problems. I think I certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. The missing mail. You glance at the problems board and I uh, see our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman so we can tell you where to start your search. Sue for Breadwood's needy courtesy of you. Hello, Reginald. Who are you for? Uh, who? who? You for Chaya? Okay, whatever. Are you? Name's Flirmpton Widget. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail and said you could give me a line on where to start looking. Oh yeah, alright. I've been up a uh, mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt you changed much the system. All the mails headed here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. Discover the new map location, Postal Way Station. Thanks! Alright, so many places to go. Um... Hmm... Oh! Number discovered a new map location, the Jumble Neck Mine. Where they put a period on the sign. And it's weird that they both bothered to carve individual hyphens. And greater that the sign instead of carving- <laughs> Greater than- And a greater than sign instead of just carving an arrow into it. Check out the mine now. The foreman's office. Except for the dust all over everything. The fact the guy at the desk is a ghost, this looks like a regular old mine foreman's office. Okay. Grab the helmet. Miner's helmet. I've already got one of these. Work stopped here a couple months ago. This ghost is busily shuffling the ghost of papers on his desk. Talk to him. Kid, I'm busy here. I've got a mine to run. Take a hike, okay? This mine is still running? Well, we're miners, kid. If you saw anyone up here, I'd have to fire them. Not for not doing their jobs. Uh, how's business? It's just great. Hunky friggin' Dory. See this face? Is this my happy face? And, and I'm double ex <laughs> This is my happy face, and I'm double excited about answering questions for some random kid that wandered into my office while I was working. Look how ecstatic I am. That's quite a silver tooth. Made it myself. I made a few silver trinkets in my time. Now go away. The calendar's out of date. What? Yeah, like six months old. I like the picture, okay? Scram. Do you know that you're a ghost? Do you know that you're a pain? No, I'm serious. See me laughing? Uh, get away from that. The behind the desk growls. Take a closer look. Something wrong with your ears. I told you to get away from there. Let's leave the safe alone. Whoops. Flee. That's not what I meant to do. I don't want to fight him. Barrel is full of old grease. Take some. Just grab a handful? No. Hello, a sign. It says Jumble Neck Mine. What is this meaning? It's just a name. Our names for things don't really mean anything. No, Gary is meaning Orange Blossom. I'm not sure what to do with that knowledge. Origin. Got Blossom Gin. Gin. Pile of rocks. Search them. Silvertooth Skull. Ooh. 
Yikes. Okay, that's his thing, though. Check it out. Now, let's see. The elevator is pretty dusty inside and doesn't appear to have been maintained for quite a while. It does still seem functional, but the control lever is chained in padlocks. You notice that the shaft is totally silent. You'd expect to hear the rumbling of minecarts and clanking of pickaxes from down below. Let's hop back out for right now. I'm going to try showing him his skull and see what happens. Uh, rocks. Probably some mine leavings that got piled up here. Search the rocks. Poke around in, in the rocks and don't find anything of interest. Oh, well. Talk to him. Get him busy here. Uh, let's see. This mine is abandoned. Get him not interested in playing games. I'm not playing. The mine shaft is silent. Everything is covered in dust, and according to the calendar, nothing has happened here for six months. This place is dead. You're gonna be the dead one if you don't leave me alone. Leave him alone. Did you know that you're a ghost? I'm serious. I have something that belongs to you. Oh yeah? Well, that's a human skull. Notice the silver tooth. Look familiar? I don't mean to upset you, but... I guess I forgot, somehow. Must have been a traumatic experience. Oh, you think? You think, maybe? Sheesh. Give me that skull. It's mine, after all. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. And frankly, kid, it's none of your business. Leave me alone so I can get going on in the light or whatever. You know you can't take it with you. Take what? Whatever's in that safe over there. Oh yeah, the font combination is 0451. Thanks. Take a closer look. Uh, let's just unlock the safe. We don't need safe cracking. Got to uh, spin the dial to the combination the ghost told you, and the safe door swings open. It's like a meat nuggets and a weird knife. Score! Minus five mysticality deals extra damage against cows and other demonic creatures. <gasps> what if we take the weird knife? Thirteen. Always thirteen. As if we take the demonic knife and we silver plate it. Uh, let's see, this knife is a thin, twisty stiletto blade made of tarnished black silver. It looks wicked sharp, but holding it makes you feel a little uncomfortable, like someone's whispering your name, but you can't quite hear them. Uh, let's see, a small burlap sap full of nuggets of fairly pure meat ore. Let's open it. Yeah! 312 meat. Better than, uh, I think better than the cost of what we needed. Since no one's here, you're free to rummage around his desk. Let's do it! You got the Jumble Deck Mine Elevator Key and the Extra Grizzly Jerky. Increases melee damage by five for the rest of the day. This is dried meat, sort of. It's mostly dried connective tissue with little pockets of meat in there, here and there. Jumble Deck Mine Key. It's the key to the elevator. Jumble Deck Mine. Check it out. Unlock the lever. You unlock the lever with the foreman's key and give it a yank. The elevator shudders as it begins to descend, accompanied by the sound of clanking chains and grinding pulleys. Very quickly, it becomes too dark to see, and you pull out your lantern. Very slowly, the elevator reaches its destination. You pull the door open and peer into the gloom. Okay. See, there's minecarts full of rocks. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Pickaxe here. Got an old pickaxe. Looks like this lever controls the junction in the Minecraft tracks. Pull it. Makes a satisfying kerchonk noise. Uh, headless skeleton. Skullless. Skullless. Looks like there was a cave-in. Check it out. There isn't much to see except for rocks. There's quite a lot of them, though. So if you want to look at the rocks, there's a great selection to choose from. I uh, forgot their lunchbox. They must be really hungry by now. Open it. You got a paper bag and raisins. Pretty much everything inside is crumbled into dust, except for a wax paper sandwich bag and some raisins that probably weren't intended to become raisins. This crate is, uh, of... This is a crate of old dynamite. Dynamite gets very dangerous when it ages, but I know better than to try and stop you from taking a stick if you decided that's to take one. I have decided that. 
You pick up a stick of old dynamite. I don't recommend you do a lot of hopping up and down while you're carrying that. Got an unstable stick of dynamite. I forgot we can jump. Should we jump? The nitroglycerin started to sweat out of the dynamite and crystallize on the outside. This makes it extremely dangerous and you should probably not try to use it in a fight. I mean, you also shouldn't be carrying it around in your pockets, but it's a little late for that in, uh, warning. <clears throat> a worn pack axe you found in the jumble neck mine. It has initials HH carved in the handle. Not much good for mining anymore, but you could still knock someone's head off with it. Cool. Okay. Didn't do its job very well. Six months is a long time to expect a sandwich to stay fresh. Pull the lever. The lever is already in the pulled position. You try pushing it instead, but nothing happens. Rats. This minecart is full of rocks. That doesn't look to be anything special about them. It's Stick that old dynamite in there. You went to stick of the unstable dynamite in the minecart. This pa can't possibly go awry. Let's give that cart a shove. You push the shoulder of the minecart and give it a shove. It trundles down the track and bonks into the big pile of rocks. Looks like the gentle impact wasn't enough to set off the dynamite. Hmm. Okay. Give the cart a shove. Uh, let's see. After a moment, you hear a distant clank noise. Hmm. Some kind of rusty old spring-loaded ratcheting mechanism with an activation lever. It appears to have latched in the minecart and lo locked into place. Pull the lever. The lever and mechanism is rusted and stuck. This is going to require something heavier duty than a can of oil, seems like. Hmm. Okay. Something more heavy duty than a can of oil. Alright. <laughs> a goblin is wandering along the path, muttering and ranting out loud to itself. As you get close enough to hear Gary gas. <gasps> oh, oh gosh, such a language of filth speaking. What'd they say? Terrible and a hard to translating. But to do having with spore going into a wrong crevice, and also a human insult, Gary not understanding. Whoa. Why are you not cramming an entire baguette up your icing funnel? Wow, what? Go marrying a bagel. <laughs> Muffin chucker. Um. Let's talk. Finding a guide to human cusses, uh, cusses, cake sucker. Where did you learn all this uh, talking like that? The goblin shows you a pamphlet listing a variety of popular profanity. On the back it says, brought to you by the Breadwood Board of Tourism. <laughs> Teach them some fake swears. These are weak swearings, giving me a pamphlet. I am the teaching you better ones. Oh, okay. Teaching them a thing or two. You teach the goblin a number of phrases like charming gentleman and having a pleasant afternoon. He doesn't suspect a thing, and the next human he meets will have a much more polite, if puzzling, encounter. You got an item, the breadwood cheat sheet. Nice. What is that? Handy reference guide to some of the most fashionably profanity mankind has to offer. The setting was in your offhand. Plus five moxie. So it's not even as good as some of the other stuff we got. Postal service uh, says no uh, trespassing. Nothing else. Okay. Trespass. Hmm. Stack of old newspapers. Go through them. Nothing interesting. Oh, wait. There's an actual postcard in here that you could use. Blank postcard. Yay. Go through them. A letter to Roy Bean. Undelivered letter to Roy Bean. Addressed to his house of justice and jelly beans. Why not deliver it? Stack of old newspapers. Someone has removed all the funnies, so this is literally no reason to care about them. 
It's like, well, newspapers, go through them. There's an article about how to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because of all the skeletons in there coming back to life. Cabinet is full of maps, but you have no idea what any of them mean. Maybe you could ask about it at the post office in Dirtwater. Yeah, maybe. You don't even want to know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. That's great. Okay. Then we should go to Dirtwater. Um... Yeah. Dang horse threw a rod and it fell off. Uh, give him a ride to dirt water. No problem. Uh, I got nothing to do in here. That I know of. Mercantile. I uh, don't need that. Don't need any of it. Nuts. <clears throat> Post office. Hey there, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? A mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting it on behalf of the mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to give it out, neither. A delivery is going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's alright just this once. Wait a second. Thanks. After a couple minutes, she comes back with a sheet of notepaper. Okay, so each map has a code number on it, see? Based on region and direction of travel. She explains how to work out the code you need and gives you a cheat sheet for reference. Postal code cheat sheet. This could help you find the right map at the postal service station. Thank her and leave. Uh, nope. I'd like to send a postcard, though. You've already heard the postcard today. Ain't heard of the Postcard Limitation Act of 1893? No, that's... Okay, so the gummit put a restriction on <laughs> a paid postcard of one per citizen per day. Now, why don't you think that might be? To reduce strain in the postal system? Nope. That's what everyone guesses, but that ain't a thing. The wagons still make the trip no matter how many postcards are on board. The lesson we're talking, so many postcards, you need a second wagon, but that ain't likely. So, uh... To restrict the free flow of information, to keep the people from being able to say too much through the mail... <laughs> So the left end of the territory don't know what the right end's doing and vice versa. That way they can implement a different rule of law in each area, and whatever's most effective to keep them particular folks down. But people can still send letters. Pfft, letters? Who got time to write out a whole letter in this day and age? But... I ain't even got a real big part yet. What's the first two letters in conspiracy, huh? C-O? Jeez. That's right. They're in league with the cows. They all plot to keep us docile so they can deliver us up to those hell cows they summoned. You think the government deliberately summoned the cows? There's proof. The plans are referred to a rider to attach a Senate Farm Aid bill that was passed 11 years ago. And when did the cows come home? That's right, 11 years ago. There's no way a Senate bill says let's summon cows from hell on it. No, not in such obvious words. Are you cracked? It's all a coding and dog whistles like, go look it up for yourself. Okay, even if I wanted to do that, the capital city ain't even in this territory. It's hundreds of miles away. Uh-huh. You think that's a coincidence? A CO incidence? Okay, well, that's very interesting. Bye now. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Guess we're all done here. Just fine. And then let's leave. Show me your goods. Oh yeah, I do want this. Actually, I don't need that. I've got some already. Let's equip this. And then let's grab the sharpening thrup. I 
got some. I know we do. There we go. Sharpen the whip and... Sharpen the wheel knife until the strop is worn down to nothing. Now it... Whoa! I think it's so much stronger. Okay. Maybe I just misunderstood it. It's a bummer to be out of all the uh, juice and everything. All right. Um. What should we do? Yeah. All right. I need to record other things. I really do. But I'm enjoying this game so much. So I'm going to record another. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz because I love to hear from you. And, uh. This is great. I love this game. It's wonderful. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to head out here. I shall see you in the not too distant future. I know you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye.